gonna do a little bit of talking maybe and decided if if or what I'll talk about the temperature is 66 degrees ten men's are hanging in there Yard's looking good. Oh, there's a bird in the bird feeder. A little sparrow. I see some more tree limbs out there I need to pick up. <sighs> we'll do it the lazy man way. We'll ride out there on the moor and pick them up. I find out life goes a lot smoother when you figure out an easier way to do something. I was always for figuring out an easier way to do something on the railroad when I was there. I'll tell you a short story. We went to training school to be a railway carman at Southern Tech up in Marietta. They had a little box car arrangement set up out there and they taught us welding skills and working with a torch and various other carpenter skills. An old man named John Clark was the instructor. Well, I don't know if you know what a tie strap is, but it's a big metal flat iron, piece of flat iron that holds the draft gear up in the center seal. The coupler sticks into the draft gear, and the draft gear sticks into the center seal. The draft gear absorbs the shock when uh, one train couples up to another one. But that draft gear is kept up in this seal with a big flat metal plate. Well, there was about three or four of us trying to hold this tie strap up so somebody could put some bolts in it. Old John Clark walked along and saw me trying to hold that thing up by hand. Boy, get a bar and hold that thing up instead of standing there with your tongue hanging out like a red necktie. I don't know why I remember that. He was a character. I don't know if I told it or not, but we were, I probably already told this story. We were nailing like one by sixes or one by eights on the walls inside this box car. Tongue and groove pine wood. It was some good looking wood. And there was two or three guys up in the boxcar nailing that stuff on. Two or three of us on the ground handing the stuff up there. And um, other people doing stuff like sawing the stuff and transporting it over there. Well, my job was to hand the stuff up in the boxcar to the guys that were nailing the stuff up. So all day long I handed them up one board at a time. He said, Y'all get ready to go, get everything cleaned up. We call it a day and end the class for the day. Well, I was in a hurry to go. I picked up about 20 of them boards and stuck them up in that box car all at once. He stopped the whole class and pulled them, called them all together. I want y'all to look at this lazy son of a bitch. All day long, he's put one board at a time up in that box car. I tell him he can go home and he picks up the whole dang pile and puts it in there. I just don't know what to think of somebody like that. He turned out to be the biggest thief there ever was, I think, maybe with the railroad. He was taking all that lumber home with him. He, he wouldn't let us put but one or two nails in it. Nobody was around. He was stripping that wood back out of that car and loading it in his truck and taking it to Tennessee or wherever it was he lived. And every time he had a new class come through there, he'd order a new shipment of wood. I imagine he had enough tongue and groove pine wood to build himself a whole dang house when he left there. Thank you for listening today, my friends. This is Walter signing out.